Okay, let's talk about commodities. The U.S. Department of Agriculture published its plantings report for crops ranging from soybeans to cotton yesterday. And it certainly made interesting breeding with supplies expected to be tight across the board. We're joined by Erkut Oza, who's the CEO at uh, Global Trading Enterprises, to discuss it. Erkut, thanks for coming in. Um, really interesting to see that uh, uh, in the first quarter, we had actually quite a mixed performance from commodities. Some of these softs doing well on the back of the higher prices, but more broadly things uh, looking a little bit mixed. How do you expect the second Second quarter to uh, to shape up. Always difficult to predict these external factors, of course. Definitely. Um, the first half of this year, we had a bit of liquidation within the softs. Um, they had a, a tremendous run uh, from the latter half of last year, even to the first month of, in January. This was off the back of uh, all demand issues. Um, we had a little bit of liquidation, and what's happened now is with these prospective plantings, uh, it's shown how much the farmers are looking to plant. Uh, they've actually shown that the stocks are going to be very tight the stock's usage in the corn is going to be the tightest it's ever been. And that's, that's factoring in optimum weather. Um, so even if they do plant the right amount, the weather's great. We're still going to have the lowest stock's to usage since 95, 96. So prices are going to be very tough. So this is bullish for prices. Yeah. Bullish for which commodities in particular, um, do you think? Probably corn, soybeans. Um, they would probably be the most ones that would probably be bullish. Uh, wheat, we'll, we're going to probably see a little bit of easing off on, on the wheat. They did... Uh, say that they'll be planting higher amounts of wheat in this prospective planting. But there is always the factor of weather. And if weather does have a, a, a part to play, which it always does, as it did last year, we can see prices really squeeze up this year. But if you're looking at corn in particular, uh, I mean, I would agree with you. I, I think the food complex is very interesting going forward. But surely corn is being biased to the upside by the oil price, given the fact that, what is it, over 40% of corn in the U.S. goes towards ethanol production. And every time the oil price goes up, obviously that's going to incentivize farmers to actually devote more to bioethanol and even less to uh, eventual food production. I do agree. To a certain extent, in the US, the ethanol production, they're producing more than they actually need at the moment, mm. and, and that's a fact. But we cannot uh, ignore the fact that, for example, China, for the first time last year, imported corn from the US. Since 95, 96, they've never done this. Now, we've got projections that we're looking at uh, within the next four to five years that China will be, will be one of the uh, importing from the US, one of the biggest importers. Uh, the same scenario as it was in, with the soybeans. Uh, China now are the largest importer of soybeans from the US. So there is that shift which people are worried about. So they stick are, with the long softs? Yes. That, that's generally what, what we're gauging. Yeah. These prospective planters have confirmed that to a certain extent. Um, corn just off the back of yesterday and today is up 10%. So that's a, it's already showing that the shift is already going that way. Erkut, thank you very much for joining us. Erkut Oza, CEO at Global Trading Enterprises Limited.